Hey yo, what is going on YouTube and welcome back to the vlog. I started off my morning today not with the best news. So if you guys remember, every time I go to New York, I normally put my buddy Sean in the vlogs, who is like my childhood best friend, lived with the kid when I was in high school. And I woke up to a text this morning from our other buddy Zach, the one who ended up shooting out his window with the BB gun, if you guys remember that. If you don't, I'm gonna play some clips for you guys so you can see. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, I took off Cody's sh because he didn't feel like doing it right now, so I'm gonna be taking over him for a little while. <laughs> right now, we're gonna go to this, uh, this little warehouse called BJ's, you know, just like blowjobs, but instead, blowjobs are buying trampolines. All right, let's go, Sean. Is it on? Yep. Go. Oh! <laughs> Sean's father found him unconscious in a bathtub yesterday. He was submerged underneath the water. Paramedics rushed him to the hospital. He's currently in the ICU right now. Our buddy Robbie started up a GoFundMe. Sean left his job and he currently has no health insurance. He's gonna need a ton of tests, tons of medical treatment to figure out exactly what it is that's going on. I know the holidays are coming up, but if we could all come together and just say a prayer, or if you guys have anything to donate, I'm gonna put a link right in the top of the description. It would be greatly appreciated. I know Sean, his family, Family and all of us would definitely appreciate anything. Every little bit helps. And it's just crazy because I'm literally heading to New York tonight. But right now we're at the supercharger. I'm charging up a little bit before we head up to the airport after this. I got to swing and pick up Lance and Julia because they're flying out to Jersey today as well. Just worked out perfect that both of our flights are around the same time so we can all head to the airport together. I'm still kind of hobbling around on my knee. It does feel a little bit better today. I've been wearing my knee brace and putting a lot of ice on it, which has definitely helped. Oh, this guy's getting, he, he's getting really close there. Hello. I've also been taking, you know, ibuprofen and just resting my knee a lot. It is feeling a little bit better. Definitely not hundred percent. Still going to take it super easy. I got the crutches in the trunk right now. And who knows, I might even have Lance grab a wheelchair at the airport just to, you know, so I can wheel myself around without having to put any more pressure on my knee. Super early in the morning, 8.47 a.m. I know this may not be early for some of you, but for me, I went to bed at 9 p.m. last night and I've been up since 5 a.m. I'm trying to get on a more normal sleep schedule. I was in New York for about four days, spent a lot of time with my daughter, spent a ton of time with my family. I ended up vlogging a little bit, really just wanted to spend as much time as I could with my family off camera since I wasn't seeing them for that long of a time. But here's some footage I got from New York, roll the clips. Finally made it to Syracuse. Let me take my mask off, it's about 8.30 p.m. We sold the Tesla and we upgraded to the Prius, baby. Let's go. This is how you know you're in New York when you get a rental car and it comes with a freaking snow brush. I'm already ready to go back to Florida. Okay, first off, I don't know who was driving this car last. Y'all hear what they had planned? All right, we're gonna have to hook up some Bluetooth. This thing is pretty crazy looking, man. I've actually never driven a Prius before. I'm assuming this is where I have to shift. All right, first things first, I need Bluetooth. And then second, we're gonna figure out how to shift this damn thing. So I came out with my mom today. What, you gotta get all dolled up for the vlog? Jesus. All right, some things never change. We're doing some Christmas shopping. My grandma said she wants to get a canister vacuum for Christmas, so we're trying to see what they have. Basically gonna be spending the entire day doing Christmas shopping, and then we'll pick up Aubrey later on and probably go to my grandparents' house for dinner. Are these canister vacuum? What are these? No. These aren't canister vacuums. Probably end up getting her something. She's gonna be like, this sucks. No, you can let her know. no they do, you just can't get, I, I've never seen them in stores. You always gotta buy them on like Amazon and like that so we basically have our shopping cart stacked to the tippy top even on the bottom i can't even remember everything that we grabbed so far we were kind of just like walking down aisles like oh i think this person will like this i think this person will like this and this is what we end up with my mom just told me this and i was completely unaware that apparently there's a what is it a bag ban no plastic bags in new york no plastic bags in new york and you got to pay for the paper bags here you want to take the camera and say hello to the vlog I, oh, I went to the dentist. I got my teeth, please. Did you have any cavities? Nope. No cavities? Good nope. Job. I just lost my tooth. How much money did the tooth fairy bring? Six dollars. Six dollars? Holy cow. Six when I was younger, dollars. the tooth fairy would only bring me like 50 cents. Uh, that's what everybody said. <laughs> yeah, real funny, mom. <laughs> But it's so weird. Yesterday, I was wearing shorts, and it's almost Christmas. I know. Uh, it was so warm yesterday. Yeah. It's gonna get really cold tomorrow, though. Yeah, it's yeah. supposed to snow this weekend, apparently snow and ice. Yeah, I'm ready to go back to Florida. You want to come with me? Sure. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I don't want to be here when it snows. I saw Santa the other day. You saw him the other day? Yep. 
What'd you tell him you wanted for Christmas? A PS5. You know how much PlayStations are right now? Yeah, but Santa's rich. What else did you ask Santa for besides a PlayStation 5? A new sister and a new brother. I don't, I don't know if Santa can bring you those. He's magic. There you He's go, awesome. You want to say hi to the vlog? No. Why? Because you're a jacket. That's what would I do? I didn't even do anything. That's well, the problem. What, that I'm not doing anything? Yeah. Well, I came over to Grandma's house. She's making some quick spaghetti right now. Of course, her and my grandpa are bickering as always. Want to tell them what you're so upset about? Because Grandpa rinsed out the tomato cans in this sink. That's right. Because I put the rest of it in here. Yeah. And anybody that yeah. cooks with sauce will understand that. I don't think anybody really cooks with sauce that watches my YouTube videos. We have to show... Cooper. Say hi, Cooper. That's Cooper. He just laying down. And then we have Bonnie, which she got hit by Cora. But it's not okay. Because she's doing much more better now. And we have the pretty Christmas tree. And that's pretty cool. We hear the sirens for Santa coming through town. Boy, is it chilly. I definitely should not be wearing shorts right now. Are you excited? I We used to do this when I was a kid. Grandma and Grandpa would always bring me up here every year when Santa would come. It's hard to see on the camera with the flashing lights. Oh, look at this, he's coming right over. some candy canes. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Merry Christmas. All right, he's got to go see all the other kids. Merry Christmas. Were you excited to see Santa? Came right over to you. Came right over to us. I just woke up and this is what I see. Oh, hell no. Oh my God, it's freezing. Does anyone else completely suck at wrapping presents or is it just me? I don't know what I did to manage this, but this is, this is what it looks like. Let's go. Finally back in Florida into the warm weather and I know this may be new to some of you guys But yes, I do have a daughter. Her name is Aubrey She's eight years old if you guys have been watching the vlogs for a while You would know that if you guys are new here, you probably wouldn't know But yes, that's my daughter Aubrey in those clips like I said, we're back in Florida I had just gotten out of the shower ate some breakfast and I'm like, you know, what? I want to be productive today I want to do something I haven't been vlogging that much because of my knee and traveling But while I was in New York the day that I got there was 65 degrees degrees when I landed. I'm like, sweet, maybe I'll be able to do some fishing while I'm here. Next three days, it was like 26 degrees and snowing. So I didn't end up doing any fishing, but I just had that itch. I'm like, oh my God, I, I haven't been fishing in probably two weeks, almost three weeks now. I was like, I need to go do some fishing. So that's what we're going to do today. Haven't done any fishing in the vlogs in a while. So we're going to head out, see if maybe we can catch a little something today. Getting ready for Christmas. I've been doing a lot of Christmas shopping. The, the holidays are just so hectic and so crazy. I'm sure you guys can relate. I feel like I've just been running around like a chicken with my head cut off so I'm taking the day today as a personal day to do something that I enjoy and kind of just unwind for a little bit before Christmas stopping at our first spot Jaron and I have actually fished here before I pulled a pretty nice size largemouth out of this pond right over here the water levels are definitely a lot higher than they normally are we ended up getting quite a bit of rain here in Florida still trying to take it somewhat easy on my knee let's see if maybe we can't catch anything today I'll tell you what the water in these ponds do not smell the greatest no luck at the last spot so I came over to Mill Creek I was gonna hit up the honey hole and on the way in I found this nice pond right here it's got a bunch of lily pads in it so it's like you know what? let me just swing by here real quick I'm gonna throw a frog on do a couple casts in here like if I was ever gonna catch anything on a frog this would probably be the spot that it would be. It does look very, very shallow in here though. I mean, even right out there, like where I just cast it, I can see the bottom. Oh yeah, it's definitely a bit windy today. The water's definitely up. Oh my God, that uh, water turkey right there just had a little bass in its mouth. If we catch anything today, guys, this is probably where it's gonna be at. Oh, there we go. Right on the edge. That's what I'm talking about. 
Whoo, he came out of nowhere and grabbed this. Let's go. I really didn't think we were gonna have any luck today. Oh, there we go. There's another one. There we go. Was not even expecting that. I was still continuing to walk. Oh, there we go. Nice. Our second largemouth of the day, baby. Pretty fish. Well, I was on my way back to the car to get a new GoPro battery, doing a couple casts, ended up landing this guy right here. Not too bad. You guys know, whenever I go fishing, I'm normally using top water or I'm using a Texas rig. I decided to switch it up. I threw like this little swim bait on right here. It's got a little feather on the tail. It's got some crazy action underneath the water. So we're gonna try this, go a little bit shallow. Just whenever I go fishing, I'm always using the same stuff. Oh, oh, I just had a hit. There we go. Got him that time. Oh, nice. Tiny little guy. Gonna grow into a monster one day. It is currently Christmas Eve in Florida. It definitely does not feel like it. It's 80 degrees today. The sun is shining. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully you guys are all excited for Christmas. I decided I wanted to throw up a little vlog for you guys. I know it's a shorter one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my trip to New York and also enjoyed the little bit of fishing that I threw in there. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, subscribe, and turn on all my notifications so you guys never miss when I post a new video. It has been crazy. The past week and a half has just been so hectic with traveling, the holidays, and just trying to spend time with family. But over the next couple days leading into the new year, when things settle down a bit, we'll get back to the vlogging a lot more. Lance will be back down here on January 5th, so you guys can expect some more vlogs with him. Also, getting the Tesla wrapped very, very soon, so you guys can stay tuned for that. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.